Hello and welcome to this quick tip. This quick tip is all around these kind of radios that have a multi-protocol module inside. Now there's two main versions. There's a four-in-one multi-protocol module that supports literally dozens and dozens and dozens of protocols. There's also a smaller version that has a single chip inside and you tend to find that on the cheaper handheld versions. But one of the common questions that I'm getting is, I've got this particular receiver, or I've got this particular model, can it bind to it? The answer is possibly, but it's a pretty easy way to find out. Now, I have done a couple of videos where I actually bound that little helicopter uh, to this radio to show you how to go through the process. But in this one, I want to very quickly uh, show you how, when you ask me the question, how I look it up so that you can in future if you have a specific question. The big tip for this is all the information is on the multi-protocol module wiki. Now, to say a massive thank you to a gentleman called Pascal that's behind this project that we're all now starting to rely on as a hobby. So if you do make it onto the wiki, do skip him a couple of books just to say thank you if you're using the technology and it's working for you. Now, if you mooch around here, and I'll put links down to this page below, you will end up on this page, which is the slash master slash protocol underscore details page. And on here are a full list of all of the protocols that the current system supports. Now, the big trick, of course, is finding out what protocol the particular model you're interested in talks. And that should be in the specifications or the online manual for whatever it is you're looking for. Now, one of the questions that I've just had by somebody is for a Horizon Hobby product, and that needs the DSM-X protocol. Now, there's only one wrinkle you need to think about, and that is the fact that some multi-protocol modules have the full four-in-one chipset, and you can find which protocols work with which. And if you have a four-in-one or a five-in-one multi-protocol module, then you have all of these available. However, some only ship with a single module, the cheaper ones, do and that is the Texas Instruments ones that only gives you the free sky and Fataba stuff so if you need something else then unfortunately you're going to be out of luck so let's search for DSM X and sure enough there it is lots of different versions supports both DSM 2 and DSM X which is going to work with pretty all spectrum receivers including the newer ones now, if we actually click on the DSM, because the stuff on the left-hand side is all uh, kind of clickable, set you to the details, here is all the detail of how it's set up, the channel order, all those different pieces, what um, things like throttle cut is automatically set to, and there's a ton of notes down here as well. So by looking at this, we can pretty easily tell that DSM X is available on the radio. Now, is it available on the radio that you have in your hands? Possibly. It might be that you need to do a firmware update. And again, I'll put my link to my video uh, down below if you want to do a firmware update on the module inside your radio so that you have access to all the latest and greatest stuff. In fact, I've got a little mini series. I'll link you to the whole thing in the description down below. You can go and have a look because there's some other fantastic tools, things like the channel namer, which actually shows you exactly which channel is which. The multi-protocol module is very clever and will actually map the channels inside the radio to the channels that's needed for the model that you're binding. A couple of last tips for this. Uh, if you are going to set this up and to play with this kind of stuff, I would always recommend when you bind it and you plug it in for the first time, take your props off. Uh, I would take off the tail prop and the main uh, blades on something like a helicopter in case you have made a mistake or something weird has happened and the throttle has ended up in a weird position. You don't want that starting off on the desk and causing your problems. And the last thing again is another gentle reminder. If you're using the multi-protocol module in something like this Radio Master TX16S on one of the other radios and having fun with it, then don't forget if you're gonna visit something like the wiki and look at all the documentation that Pascal uh, and this team have created, uh, skip them a couple of bucks just to say thanks. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.